Hello there, my name is Sophia Metropolis. I am primarily an artist, but every now and then I like to make videos about audio and random tech stuff. So today this is gonna be one of those videos. I've been making YouTube videos for a little over a year now. I took a very long break in that year, regardless. My video making background in general is a lot more extensive. I started making videos and learned to edit at age 13, so I've been doing it for a long time. The last time I made one of these videos, I was trying to figure out my audio solution as a brand new YouTuber, so now I would consider this sort of an intermediate setup. I think I could have purchased this earlier, but some of them weren't available. So I think it also could be a beginner setup, but for me, this is my second go about of how I'm doing my audio. So first let's take a look at what I was working with last time really quickly. So now you're listening to me with the audio straight from the Sony a6400. This mic is a $17 lav mic that is plugged straight into my phone. But now you're hearing the Asden mic on the zoom field recorder. So I took the mic out of my phone and now we're just recording in voice memos by itself. The great thing, oh yeah, oh that's good. The great thing about the Zoom field recorder is that you can use a headphone to hear how the gain is sounding. It was an incredibly difficult setup. It was pretty messy and didn't really work out the way that I wanted it to. So the first change I made is I bought the Deity D4 Duo microphone. It's a dual capsule microphone. It's very similar to the Rode Video Micro, but the primary difference between the Rode Video Micro and the Deity D4 Duo is the dual capsule element of the Deity. What dual capsule refers to is the ability to record things at the front and at the back of the microphone. So the microphone literally has two caps to it and you can choose the setting to have it record from one versus the other. When it comes to price differences between the Rode Video Micro and the Deity D4 Duo, the Rode retails at $59 and the Deity retails at $89, which it is more expensive, but I think in the long run, a lot of times if you see creators who use Rode Video Micro microphones, they turn the entire microphone around if they're filming from behind the camera, and it's just clumsy and it's a pain, and it's just easier if you can keep them switched. Hello again, this is what the back sounds like. The reason we do this is so that if I'm taking a shot where I'm filming something else, the microphone is capturing both the front and the back, and that really helps with post and editing and all that good stuff. There is also a cat on my desk as I record this whole thing. Her name is Mao. She just wanted to be here. So already this is a pretty clear difference between the front and back microphone, and then also I had to cut this in because I have to unclip it. This is what the built-in microphone sounds like on this camera. It's not great. It's not great. Let's go back. But I also want to talk about this little guy right here, which we're going to switch to now. There we go, nice switch, nice little transition. I love this guy. It was a little bit pricier because it's white, but I just wanted the white one. I thought it was cuter, sorry. This is the Yeti blue in the whiteout color. I know that's kind of confusing, but it is $129. So it is a little bit more expensive, especially more expensive than the other things I was looking at in previous videos, but I'm really happy with it. The benefit to this guy is the controls. It also has just proven to be really beneficial in terms of interviews and Zoom calls. The quality of the microphone is so much better. And this microphone is a USB based microphone. So you plug it into your computer, which in the past I hesitated against because I thought it was gonna be frustrating, but I've found a system where I record directly into Adobe Audition and then I export it to Adobe Premiere, which is my primary editing platform. So it actually doesn't end up being that clumsy. My files go straight into the computer and there's no import process. So that has actually kind of been helping. I'm really satisfied with how it's sounding. I honestly wish I had made this decision earlier. I used to just take my microphone off and hold it in front of me. You know, it's a serious talking video on YouTube when the YouTuber sits down with a microphone in their hands and it's just them and the camera. I don't have one of those snowball microphones, they're $250, so I have my little $80 microphone that usually is on top of, sorry I'm messing with the mic that I'm trying to talk into. It's usually on top of my camera, but I wanted to make it look official, so I'm speaking directly into it. And the benefit to the Deity is that it's portable, but the benefit to a microphone like this, a desktop USB microphone, is the ability to do to sit down talking videos like this and have them sound so much better. If you've ever talked about audio to anybody in the film industry, they will be the first to tell you that people will, will forgive, forgive bad, bad video, video, but they will not forgive, forgive bad, bad audio. audio. It's just so much harder to capture a viewer's attention when there's distraction around. So, I mean, listen, let's switch back to the deity. I know it's not as good, so let's switch back. How much harder is it to hear me and understand me and focus on me? Can you hear stuff in the background, like maybe the highway nearby or the bugs buzzing outside, you know? Let's switch back again. It's so much better. And even if I were to bring this up to my mouth and speak, even more softly and clearly straight into it, it really sounds a lot better. But this gives me creepy ASMR vibes, and that's not my vibe. 
if you enjoyed that, I am glad you enjoyed that. If you didn't, don't worry about it. I won't do it again. <laughs> Another benefit of the Yeti Blue microphone is the settings on the back. There are four different recording settings. There's cardioid, which I'm in right now. I hope I said that right. There's stereo, which records from both sides. There's omnidirectional, which records from all directions. And then there's, wait, I can remember it. There's the one that records from the front and the back. Dual? I don't know. Okay, I'll, re I'll read from the thing. There's bio-directional mode. Records from both the front and the rear of the microphone. Ideal for recording, duet, or two-person interview. Stereo mode. Uses both the left and right channels to capture a wide, realistic sound image. Perfect for recording acoustic guitar or choir. Omnidirectional mode. Picks up sound equally from all around the mic. It's best used in situations where you want to catch the ambiance of being there, like a live recording of a band's performance, a multi-person podcast, or a conference call. And cardioid mode. Well suited to podcasts, vocal performance, voiceovers, and instruments, cardioid mode records sounds that are directly in front of the microphone, delivering rich, full-bodied sound, which is what I'm doing right now. Thanks for this educational moment. I hope you enjoyed that little infographic. Uh, let me know if you buy one. I link them down below. They're affiliate links. If you click them, I get a couple pennies. I really appreciate it. So anyway, this was a quick check-in to show my current audio setup. I bring the deity with me when I'm out in the world. Sometimes I don't want to put it on because it draws attention to the camera by having a microphone on it, but it is worth it. I think my next purchase, if I were to get anything, would be the Rode Wireless Go. It's the remote lavalier setup. So one goes on the camera and one goes on me. And that's the most direct way to have somebody mic'd up directly. They're expensive, it's $250. So even still, it's more expensive than any setup I have right now. And also, I don't know how I feel about wearing a microphone. I mean, I guess out in the world, it makes a lot more sense. But if I'm sitting here, I just prefer to have a microphone that I'm speaking into. And I'm not gonna set up a C-stand and have a shotgun mic pointing at my face. It's just not a setup that I'm gonna do in my house that's not a real fully fleshed out studio. Maybe one day when my YouTube comes to fruition in a much more lucrative way, potentially. So thank you for being here and watching. Maybe you'll contribute to that. Either way, let me know what your setup is if you think that I've improved. If you have any cheap recommendations for me to go up next, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Sophia Metropolis. Don't ask me too many specific audio questions in the comments because y'all did that last time and I don't know the answers. I'm not a professional. This is just, this is what I'm figuring it out. So I'm just trying to share, you know, I'm trying to teach from one chapter ahead. See ya.